Hey everybody, how's it going? Dale here. Um, Windows 11, Microsoft account. Everybody's complaining about being forced to set up or use a Microsoft account to use Windows 11 or to even set it up, clean install, out of the box, whatever. Um, and word is down the road, even Windows 11 Pro is going to require a Microsoft account, whether it's local or um, home or pro, you're going to still have to set up or use a Microsoft account. Currently, as far as I know, Windows 11 Pro gives you the option to skip the Microsoft account, just sign in with a local account. But now they're gonna, I guess, start doing that. Probably in 22H2 when that comes out later this year, I'm not completely sure, but that's the buzz. So what I have here, guys, is a brand new Acer laptop. I literally just took it out of the box, plugged in the power cord. I have not turned it on yet. It's a, <clears throat> 11th gen Intel Core i3 processor, nice little laptop, solid state drive. It shipped with Windows 11, um, and I, I don't have any Ethernet plugged into it, not yet. So I'm going to show you what I call a little trick or an oversight from Microsoft. There's a real easy way without any hacking or editing or custom ISOs or any of that garbage. Just I'm going to turn it on for the very first time right now. I don't have any internet hooked up to it. I'm going to show you a way I found to set it up right out of the box, Windows 11, with a local account. So just bear with me. Like I said, I'm turning it on for the very first time, so we're going to go through the, through the setup. And I'll show you what it does. I don't really have a problem with Microsoft account, but once you set it up and you get Windows 11 installed, whether you're doing a clean install or like a from a factory install like I'm doing now, um, you can still switch it over to a local account. But it's during this initial setup that they require it. You just can't, you can't avoid it. So I'm going to choose my region, which is United States. And U.S. keyboard layout, I'm going to skip additional layouts. And right here you can see the next button down here isn't, I can't click it because I'm not connected to the internet. So you can either do Wi-Fi, in this case I'm going to plug in my Ethernet. So give me a second here, I'm going to plug it in. It'll take a little bit there for it to detect it. And give me, give me the next button down there. Hopefully you guys can hear, let me zoom just a little bit there. Sorry. Okay, now we got next. So I'm gonna hit next. Now we gotta let it check for updates. Now this is an issue that Microsoft may fix down the road when 22H2 comes out. I don't know, they must be aware of it or they put it in there on purpose, I'm not sure. But this will work on a desktop or a laptop. I've been doing it basically since day one, and, and it just works. Not really cheating anything, just don't want a Microsoft account. Hmm, I thought it was bright enough. Yeah, let me bring that up a little bit. There's pros and cons of having a Microsoft account. On your device, let's face it, every other device we own, whether it's a, I don't know, a Chromebook, a, an iPhone, an Android phone, tablet, whatever, all those require that you're signed into an account of some sort. So the, Microsoft has joined the party, I guess. So we're going to let it reboot. I still have internet hooked up. Now watch it not work. <laughs> yeah, it should work. All right, we're gonna accept the license here. All right, here's where you got to sign in. If you go to like sign in options, you can, you know, the, you, you just, you, there's nothing you can do. So I'm going to hit the back button here. 
hit sign in if I hit next eh, can't do it so now all I'm gonna do now is unplug my internet or we're at this sign in screen that's it then I'm gonna go up here and click on the back button and there right there just enter your username hit next no password and you just can choose all this stuff I'm just gonna get into Windows real quick here except all this stuff uh, you can skip this stuff here to you know put in your name and phone number and all that stuff uh, this is just Acer stuff I don't want any agree to anything there hit next don't need internet anymore and in a couple of minutes here we'll be in Windows with a local account it's pretty much that easy like I said, I've been doing this on crap ton of computers, laptops, and desktops, having any issues. But you can still set up a Microsoft account if you want once you get into Windows 11. Um, but as you can see, it works just fine. I'm going to wait here and let it get into Windows. Just so you can see, I'm not kidding. Don't forget to... Um, Check out more of my videos, everybody, and click the subscribe and the like button. Like button, that would be cool. I'd appreciate it. Come on. Now, if you're doing a clean install, like off of a flash drive you created with the media creation tool this method works as well there's also something you can do with shift F10 maybe I'll do a video on that at some point or you can just open up your task manager during the setup process do a little trick from there as well so there we're in Windows 11 no problem got a local account ready to rock and roll so I thought you might find that interesting um, get a chance try it out thanks for watching everybody have a great day